Served as Community, this is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you to my tutorial series. Now today I want to talk about something that I discovered just recently, but I think is super cool. And you might know a lot about this, but I am just learning, and I hope I can give you some insightful information about this. And that is this extra plugin or program, I guess, that is integrated into Daz Studio called Hexagon. And I have started working with Hexagon and I've got to say I'm really excited about it. it it's going to change a lot of how I do posing, especially hair and clothing. And so I thought I should give you a few tutorials on Hexagon. So if you haven't used Hexagon yet, uh, just a little information about it. It is a free program that just comes with Daz Studio, but it's not going to be loaded until you get it off of their website. So what I've done here is I've gone to the Daz Studio website and I have just typed in the search bar for Hexagon and you're going to see two of them and I actually downloaded both just in case but there is a hexagon beta and then there's a hexagon 2.5 what you're gonna have to do is download it through your Daz install manager so you just purchase it even though it's free and then once you have it purchased it should come up in Daz install manager and you can find it by just doing a search for hexagon. Now I have already downloaded this. So if you go to your installed content, you're going to see mine. Now I have both these public builds and then hexagon has a 32 bit version and a 64 bit version. The 32 bit version is pretty limited. And so I'm just using this 64 bit and I've downloaded it. But if you need to find it in install manager, you can find it by just typing in hexagon. Now I do have some other ones like here's that 32 bit public build. I don't have it installed because I don't use it uh, for 32 bit. If you have a bigger scene, it's not going to allow you to um, use it and it'll crash. So once we have this downloaded in Install Manager, you're going to need to go back into Daz Studio. And in Daz Studio, we can find it by selecting something in the scene. Like I can select my Milica character here. And then I'm going to find Hexagon by going to File and then send to, send to hexagon. What this is gonna do is Daz Studio is gonna send whatever you have selected into hexagon this way. Now I have to warn you that uh, hopefully this doesn't happen to you, but for me, this was very frustrating because when I was first trying to use hexagon, I would get an error that said we could not find hexagon. So what I had to do is I had to go into my search bar of my computer and I had to find hexagon and I had to tell Daz Studio the pathway where hexagon was. And once I did that, Daz was able to simply bridge to hexagon once it knew the pathway. So. Now that I have my character selected, I can go to send to hexagon and you can see it just opens hexagon right up. It's going to take a couple of moments to load Milica, especially because she has other assets on her. I have hair on her, of course, clothing. And so it's going to load everything that you have selected into hexagon. Now I've also run into some problems because you can overload this. And I was actually having Daz Studio crash as Hexagon was opening Milica if she has a bunch of assets. So you wanna keep your character as simple as possible when you move her over. So I basically just load Milica with her hair and clothing so that I can 
edit and change those things. But I leave things like her genitalia off, other assets like, you know, the, if, if you have a tongue add-on, things like that, you want to leave off of your character simply because I have noticed that it causes Daz Studio to crash. Now, what's really cool is Hexagon is not really difficult to learn. It's a lot easier, I think, than Daz Studio. But over here in, on the right is everything that we loaded in. So we can see we loaded in the Genesis 8 character, that's Milica, her eyelashes, her hair, which is the Linda ponytail hair, her high heels, her shirt, and her skirt. So what's cool is we can select these a lot like our parameter tab in Daz Studio, and we can now start editing whatever we select. So for example, if I want to edit her clothes, we can select like her skirt in this parameters tab. And once we do that, now we can work on editing her skirt. Some of the th things that I've been playing with with Hexagon is reposing clothes. So like taking an item of clothing and moving it to a position that we like and saving that as a morph or getting rid of poke through. You know, we've been dealing with poke through with clothes and Daz Studio forever. Hexagon does a really good job of creating a morph that will get rid of poke through rather than hiding parts of your character's body or something like that, we can actually just come into Hexagon, do some quick editing and get rid of poke through. And I've also been playing around with hair. You know, Milica, if we wanna repose her in a certain way, hair has always been one of our big challenges in setting up a scene. And what's kinda of cool is we can manipulate make more realistic hair, maybe falling down in front of her face or hanging to the side using hexagon. This really adds to our scene. So this video was really just about how to get hexagon working with Daz Studio. So I hope if you've had some problems or if you have problems trying to do it, this kind of helps you out. What I'm going to do in my next video is I'm gonna show you some simple things that Hexagon can do. It's really cool how we can edit things like clothing, hair, we can repose things, and I'll show you that next. We can also take and edit the character. We could change different features of the character. So this is doing a lot of the same things that Blender might do, except I'm finding this a lot easier than Blender. I have played with Blender a little bit. I know I need to work on it more. I'm planning on doing more with Blender soon, but I think Hexagon is a good alternative to some of the things that we would do in Blender. It's not as complicated. And so I will start going over a couple tutorials that show you how to do some simple things in Hexagon next. All right, so if you don't have Hexagon, you should get it ready, download it, get it installed into your computer, and then get it so that you can bridge it to DAS Studio and look for my next tutorial on how to do some editing. All right, so I hope that helped you out a little bit maybe a little bit uh, more detail than some of the other tutorials. We're gonna split Hexagon up into a, several tutorials, so stay tuned for my next one. And that about wraps it up. Milica was a little suspicious about using Hexagon, but I think she's coming around, so I think it's a pretty cool asset and we'll work on it in the future. All right, until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and give me some comments. If you already use Hexagon, let me know what you use it for. I'm going to start some tutorials, and we're going to go back and forth from Daz to Hexagon, and we're going to do some pretty cool stuff. Until next time, take care and happy rendering. <laughs>